It has been 20 long months since we started the Dave Ramsey plan. And in that time, we have had some amazing, exciting advances and some horrific failures. Stick around and I'll tell you about it. Hey there, I'm Wendy Valencia. And on this channel, we talk about getting out of debt and staying out of debt forever. So if that is something that interests you, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today I am collabing with Julia Marie and several other fantastic YouTubers and we are talking about the behavior changes we've made since we started the Dave Ramsey plan. I would love it if you would go and check them all out and I'll put links to their channels down in the description box. Tell them I said, hey, in my video later this month, I will be updating you to how much we have paid off. I really don't remember the number off the top of my head, but hold on one second. Oh, look. To date, we've paid off almost $120,000, which we had some trouble getting started financially. And so once we got the ball rolling, it started rolling. And that's generally a problem for a lot of Dave Ramsey followers is getting that ball rolling because sometimes it requires you to figure out how to earn extra income to get the ball rolling. I wanted to talk to you about a few ways that mine and Mauricio's behavior has changed with regards to budgeting and money and how we live our financial lives. The, the first and probably most important is my budgeting has gotten significantly more detailed. If you look over some of my first budgeting videos, they're pretty laid back. I had a category like iTunes, but I didn't necessarily know how much we spent every month in iTunes. Budgeting, like truly budgeting is an art. It takes time to develop your budgeting skills and make it a muscle. And I truly believe that if I stopped budgeting that I would lose part of that skill. So for that reason alone, I will never stop budgeting because I don't want to have to develop the skill again. <laughs> Another way our behavior has changed is cash envelopes. We actually used them a long time ago and then stopped and we have started using them again recently because I did notice that what Dave says is actually true. When you use a debit card, you tend to spend a little bit more freely. And this has really reined us in with the grocery shopping, especially. Number three, I've realized that by putting a little bit of spending money in there that allows me to spend kind of freely, I'm actually far more likely to reach my financial goals. And while this doesn't necessarily apply to Mauricio, it does apply to me. Number four, this one isn't necessarily something I want to continue for the long run. Our giving has decreased significantly. If you have watched our video about why we have so much debt, we actually have significant amounts of debt because we overgave for our salaries. We would put other people's needs first, well ahead of our own, without any thought as to how our generosity was impacting our budget, essentially, or lack of a budget at that, at that point in time. So one of the things that we cut out first was significant giving. We do still give, without a doubt, but we weigh every single bit of giving that we do against whether it's going to help us reach our financial goals, whether we felt compelled to do it, or whether it was something that maybe we could provide the people with information and then they could get there themselves. So every time a issue of giving comes up for us, we sit down and we talk about it a lot and decide where we're being called and what we should actually do. And number five is probably the biggest. I'm actually reconciling. While I like to think that I used to reconcile when I budgeted, I didn't. Not the way I am now. We reconcile everything. And I mean everything, every little penny. If I earn three cents in interest, it gets reconciled. My bank account is balanced to zero every month. I actually have this green folder that I keep and whenever I buy anything online or pay for a doctor's bill or anything that involves the debit card, I put the receipt 
in that folder. And then when it's time to check every dollar, I just open that up and see what's cleared. And I take that receipt. And if it's medical, I file it with my tax stuff. If it's YouTube related, I file it with my tax stuff. If it's just something I bought, then I go ahead and shred that receipt. So those things really, really, really help me to remember exactly where every cent of our money is going and exactly how much we have spent. And this is pretty major when it comes to holiday or birthday giving because it allows me to see what has cleared, especially if I'm buying stuff on Etsy because sometimes the Etsy people don't charge me right away. And so it might be several days before something comes through and then I'm like, what was that? So this helps significantly. And I'll be doing a video later on about how we reconcile. Um, Cause I think it is also like budgeting a skill and almost an art and it's hard to learn for sure. What I can tell you is the most significant behavior change that has occurred for us is we will never, ever, ever use debt again as a crutch, as an emergency fund, nothing. We will never touch debt again because we have a plan and we're sticking to it. And our plan is to be debt free. It may take us a while to get there, but we're gonna get there. And I know you can too, you just need a plan. So if you're new to my channel, make sure you click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This one is my latest one and this one is one YouTube picked out just for you. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya.